We are now. Right, so now. anyway, Jay, sorry about that, by the way. Um, the <laughs> phone just decided to fall off of... It just it's, jumped. It just jumped. It yeah. just jumped. It's the Russians. It is the Russians. The Russians are <laughs> um, So Jay um, rang me up and he was like, Lee, I just can't, I can't sort, I can't just, I just can't do this. <laughs> and I was like, mate, slow down a little bit. Let's talk through this. Never mind, step yet. And we managed to get it set up. No, I'm good. Um, managed to get it set up and him loaded up and everything like that. But it was like literally... By the end of a phone call, I think Jake went like fully grey. <laughs> like he was so stressed out, it was unreal. It was unreal. And these were the times where nobody really knew what they were doing, right? Yep. To secure their assets. So um yeah, they were interested times. So we've really gone through a journey. And I feel like I've gone through a journey with the community as well. About going from being a newbie to knowing more information but not really knowing how to hold the asset. Like yeah. buying on eToro and um and not actually physically owning the asset at the time, having to liquidate that and then rebuying and losing a load of money. Um so yeah, I've made some schoolboy errors over the time. Massive schoolboy errors and bought some massive shit coins over the time as well. What was the worst shit coin you ever bought? Oh man, what did I what was the worst shit coin? Probably Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Bitcoin. <laughs> Probably Bitcoin, yeah. Because that, that didn't do too well for me, to be fair. Did you sell it at a loss? Uh, I did sell it at a loss because I just thought, no, nah, I'm getting out of this. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm, big, I'm long Bitcoin. Yeah. I'm long Bitcoin, but I just felt that money would have been better used elsewhere. In XRP? Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically. Yeah, yeah pretty much, yeah. And I thought the prices of XRP at the time was, was good. Yeah. Not as good as what they are now. Okay. But thankfully, I took advantage of the recent drop in price to get my... Average down? Yeah, my dollar cost average down to where I want it to be. So let's say, for instance, when it gets to 40 cents, I'm in the green. Okay, fair So enough. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm I good. bought in at 41 pence. So pound cost averaging is, for me, is about 33p. That's good. Really good. Yeah. Well, I sold my car and my motorbike and put it in when it was about 24. That's all right. Yeah. Fair play to you. So, um... So, I'm not going to say when moon, obviously, mm. um, but when it does go up, yeah. what's your plan? What, what's your ultimate <clears throat> end goal? People look at... <laughs> I've actually got no plan. I don't want fancy cars or big houses or anything like that. I know this sounds ridiculous. I don't want to work for money anymore. Okay. So, what I want to do, I want to work for other people. So I want to do a lot of charity work. I'm going to set up my own charities. I'm going to do um, charity for ex-military vets. We were um, talking about that. Yeah, we were talking about that in the past. Um, I want to do homeless people charities, um, about getting people, setting up businesses to actually get these the good homeless people into jobs if they want help. Yep. Um, so for me, it's not about... Yeah, I probably will move to a slightly bigger house than what I'm in at the moment because we could do with because I've got two kids in a three bedroom house. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So I could I could do with a bigger house. So I'd probably move to a four bedroom house, but I'm not going to go and buy a mansion. I'd rather spend that money within businesses to give back to the community. So that's kind of my plan. It's not about the needs that I want because my business gives me that anyway. So what's your first holiday? What's my first Where? holiday? Holiday. Um, I go on holiday twice a year already. So would you go to the same place or would you pick somewhere new? No, I, I won't be too frivolous with my money. I'm a bit of a stingy bastard. Are you really? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. I, like, I like expensive things, but when I buy things, they last me. Yeah. And I make sure they last me. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not really too frivolous with my money. So I'm not going to find you in Bora Bora? No, no. I'll just pay the taxes and sit. Oh, no. I'm, I mean, like, holiday-wise. Oh, right, no. Because... You know, members of the community were saying, like, we'll meet up in Liechtenstein, Bora uh, Bora. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably rent a Lamborghini or something like that and drive around re Europe with my boys, yeah, and um, and just have a little bit of fun for a month, definitely. I think okay. I, but I think that's well-deserved, and I'll definitely have a, I'll meet up cryptos and have these parties and everything like that when they do come, hopefully. Yep. Um, but, yeah, for me, afterwards, it's then back to my normal life. Um, still running my business, but spending a lot more time on charity work. And, um, yeah. So that's me. Okay. So given that, that money possibly will be no object, what age do you expect to retire? Or do you retire? I like to work. Okay. No, I that's think good I'll, to know. I think I'll work into my 80s. 
Yeah, absolutely. Because Keeps I, the brain going. See, for instance, like, do you know, like, when I go, I go on holiday at the moment and I'm climbing the walls. Really? Yeah. I, I, I need to be. I need to be busy. I need to be work, and that's probably why research was quite obsessive for me. Yeah. Because it was filling times of boredom and stuff like that. I don't want to be sitting there watching shit on TV. I switched off TV a yeah. long time ago. So I don't want to be doing that. I want to be spending time educating myself. Because I wasn't a, um, let's say, an academic at school or anything like that. Um, and since the age of, what, let's say, 28, I've been re-educating myself for the last 10 years, really. Just reading books. Read about two or three books every month. Favourite book? Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Um, just because it makes sense with what we're talking about. Creature of Jekyll Island, that's a great book. And okay. The Economic Hitman. They're two books which I'd recommend with... If you if you're interested within this space, creature of Jekyll Island. Now you covered that, didn't you, I in did. Manchester? Yeah. And that was where the that was the start where people were putting together the Fed. The Federal Reserve. See, yeah. I listen. You did. Um, so what was the most eye-opening thing in there? That in you in found? that book. Yeah. <laughs> the Bank of America were in there. Okay. Yeah, and I re when I reread the book after the Bank of America patent come out. And I wanted to see what what that what what it had within the book, just to trigger some memories again. Mm. Um, because what I do, I I post it note pages, because information doesn't go straight in for me, so I have to post it note pages and I highlight go back to it. key bits, yeah, which I think may become of interest at a later date. And um, and I went back in there and um, Bank of America. So Bank of America were forced to take on Countrywide and all the bad mortgages after the Lehman Brothers crash and the bad mortgages. <laughs> Um, after the 2008 crash, um, they were interested in, in acquiring Lehman Brothers, but were forced to um, take on Merrill Lynch instead. Okay. Which made them one of the largest banks in America after the crash. Ah, so somebody planned that. So I was like, mm, okay, and it's and I'm just looking at Bank of America's shareholders and the Berkshire Hathaway and the Vanguard thing and everything like that, and I'm thinking, oh, what? Because the whole reason why the Federal Reserve was set up in the first place. Yeah was to help the big players monopolise the market. Right, yep. And yeah, control yeah. the flow of money, right? Yep. And if you look at Bank of America's acquisitions over the last 20 years, it's very eye-opening. So what they've done is they've strategically... Become one of the largest banks in America over the last 20 years. OK. And are Vanguard in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in there, yeah. OK. Yeah, they're, they're in there, yeah. <laughs> So everything comes back to Vanguard. It, it does. It does come to, back to Vanguard. It does, and it comes. But I think there's another company behind that as well, which is another layer of protection for people as well. I think there's another company in there. That's my tip to you guys. Okay, and you can't name names. No, nah, I can't name names. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to name names. Oh my god! Yeah, All right. There are uh, there are other companies. Okay. And it and there's also um, other companies behind other companies as well. So don't just layering. Yeah, it's layering. Yeah. And it's not just Vanguard. Look at Ripple, look at all... Oh, there's companies behind companies, trust me. So, Ripple being part of the strategic plan, do we reckon? I think so, yeah. Um, I've always said that there's always been a greater plan for XRP and Ripple. If you just look at how quickly they've acquired banks... Yep. Yeah, some people could say it's just the tech and everything like that, but I just... I find that suspicious. Yeah. It's like Vanguard set up in the 80s and they own like 5.3 trillion worth of assets within like a 40 year period yeah that's some growth right absolutely and the thing is i know i know vanguard from the financial services aspect <clears throat> and to me they are mutual funds but they're not massive players mm -hmm. in in when you're putting together um portfolios for people mm. um you know you, you go into the merrill lynch's the black rocks and vanguard's there but they're not at the forefront of no. things that you are investing in. However, they're the biggest company investing in the rest of the world. Yeah, and then now they're getting involved in blockchain. Yeah. When they only invest in Fortune 500 companies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got that. And, and, and they're set next to Ripple, who isn't a Fortune 500 company. But they're investing in them. Well, inadvertently, yeah. Okay. And how many of the R3 partnerships are they invested in? Quite a few. <laughs> People were enticing me to do that video, but um, I'm not. But if someone wants to do a spider gram for me, then there are a lot there. Yeah, I looked. 
Okay. Right. There's a lot within the R3 consulting in well. Insider tip there. Pretty much all of them. Oh really? Yeah. Perfect. So the end of an era for the, you with the deep dives on yeah. XRP. Yeah. Do you have any pipeline stuff that you would like to get your teeth into at some point? Once you've actually got fed up with the the um the relaxing at home and yeah, what I would like to do is not just my charity stuff, but if there's if there's any like-minded people within the industry who who want to get involved in business, but they don't know how to run a business, I'd love to get involved with helping people create their own businesses as well. Startups. Yeah, I'd love that. Okay. So, um, because I've run my own businesses for a number of years. Um, so you're going to be a dragon's den? No, not really. No, I don't. Because I, I don't like the egotistical stuff of me being higher than somebody else because everybody's the same as me i'm no better than anybody else so i just want to sit there and be someone's friend and help them okay so it's it'll be like um new startups being guided yeah kind of yeah 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 but without without ridiculous shares being held fair enough so instead of taking 30 percent i'll take two and a half percent right okay so that's kind of what i want to do i want to i want to go to colleges and encourage young people to set up their own businesses and is that any type of business or is that any type be... of business yeah as long as it's got a good solid business plan and you're going to teach people how to put the business plans together no so they're going to have to do that on their own back yeah you don't get nothing for free in this world there you go mm. so um so you're still going to carry on with the boys oh yeah the... yeah we do research and if like i say if there's anything that comes to us or something comes up in the news and, I, and there's a, an old fire which goes off in the back of my head, something I've previously read, yeah. then I will do a video. But um, but yeah, like I said, I, I've never done this for anything else other to help people. So I just feel like we've done, what have we done? I think we've done 100 videos in nine months. That's an awful lot. Yeah. That's a lot of work that you put into it. Yeah. And from the communities on that side of it, I got to say thank you, no, don't, and don't all be the silly. other guys don't as well, silly. and all the other guys yeah. for all the, like, the hard work that you put in, yeah. bringing us this information. It's enabled us to fully understand what it is, or more fully understand what it is that we are invested in, mm -hmm. which should solidify our our um, our own confidence in investing and holding. Oh, of course, that's all. That's the whole point of it. It's to okay. kind of let's say reassure people. Yeah. And stop panicking when the price drops. Like, either buy some more or just get over it. Yeah. It's quite simple. You, you've, you've made your play now. Stick with it. If it goes to zero and we're wrong, we're fucking horribly wrong, right? Yeah, but, but it, could it go to zero? In all... You just don't know. Nothing's a guarantee in life. I could walk down the road, could jump in my car in a minute and have a crash and die. Yeah, please don't. No, no, no obviously not, but yeah. nothing's a guarantee in life. No. But the thing is, with the partnerships and everything like that... Oh, of course, yeah. As much as a certainty... In relation is, in to every eye, other coin yeah. that's available. Yeah. Then, uh, you, you ain't going to get much more certain than this, I don't think. Yeah. But, like, there is no guarantees ever no. in life. So it's not a guarantee. There's no guarantees. And that's why, like, do you know when people come out with these crazy theories and methods that things are going to happen on certain dates and so on and so forth. I do not want people getting loans, loading up your credit cards. Just buy slowly or, let's say, liquidate an asset you've got elsewhere. If you've like got I did with my car? Yeah, exactly. Spare yeah. car? Exactly. And if it goes to zero, fuck it, you've made a move. It's, yep. like, it's like when you put go onto the roulette table and you put all Everything in on black. red or black or whatever, yeah? Then you're dealing with that. You've yeah. made the gamble. This is a gamble. Of course. All investments are gambles. All investments are gambles. Even the people who buy shares in Apple and stuff like that, it's a gamble. Um, Do you have shares in MoneyGram? No. Would you get shares in MoneyGram? No, because if you have a look at their if you have a look at their share price when Ant Financial were trying to buy them at eighteen dollars, I mean it went down to one. And yep. Ripple invested at four, and it's like now plus five. Yeah. So what is it going to go? It's going to go what two times four or five from now. XRP is going to go better. You've got to look at the multiples, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if we go to an all-time high from the price we're at at the moment, we're like, what, times 30 already? Yeah. 
Yeah, so if you're buying at these levels, which lucky fuckers, if you're late to the party, you've really, <laughs> you've missed some hurt. You really have missed some hurt. You missed the bear market. You, That's the main thing. I, I tell you what, this has been like, it's depressing at times. Yeah. It really is. Especially when you've got your spouse asking you, oh, yeah, what's happening next? Well, yeah, it's fucking down again, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean you're like, I mean, you show her, oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's up, it's going up. And she, I mean, she'll show her next day, yeah, it's down again. <laughs> <laughs> but I still believe in it. It's well, fine. Oh, massively believing yeah. it. Massively believing it. And um, and yeah, put, I'm pulling away from the videos. But like, I'm going. I want to do more of these meetups because I've never done any DLT con. Was such a good thing. But I just thought I'm going to do meetups from now on. Yeah. And just and 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 give back to the community that way, and get to know people. So. So if you've got um, a meetup, then please do invite Lee. Um, and any of the guys at SPQR, depending on where it is in the, the mm -hmm. country, they will attempt to come. And um, I'm going to be signing off now because uh, we've done it on two videos because we had a bit of a technical glitch. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the phone decided to jump off, which yeah. is why it's moving at the moment because I'm holding it still. Ish. Ish. Um, so over to you. What would you like to say as a, a final? Um. Yeah, see you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to go and have a drink. Yeah, see you later, guys. <laughs> Bye. <coughs> that was good.